We made this, guys. We made this. Mr. Mm. Shiro and a salad. And then my wife is trying. She can go What's ahead. under here? Oh, would you look? What? What in the heck? Where did this come from? Welcome to the first family. <laughs> Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Today, guys. Hi, guys. It's been a while. No, it hasn't actually. It's been only a month. That's four videos they're missing, so we gotta make it up to them. So today we're gonna. Today I'm gonna have her try, as you guys see on the title, eat the open snacks. One of my top two favorite snacks. I don't know if they're top two, but like, and they're in a the part of top ten. So growing up, I had a boiled lead, which everybody in Ethiopia recognize. Not even Ethiopia. I think everybody in like Saudi Arabia, like I think it's just an East Africa slash Middle Middle Eastern thing. The second top favorite one is uh, double kolo. This is made out of like bread, uh, like bread doughs. It's okay. like it's basically like bread, but like croutons. Kind of like that, yeah. So we're gonna have a try this, but I'm gonna be making shiro and mister and then salad. She's gonna be making salad so we can have dinner. Since we are on pescatarian diet for this month, we're not eating anything meat or chicken. Correct. You excited? Yeah. Let's get this going. Oh, shoot. How's it going? It's going good, I'm not crying. You smell it? Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, my eyes. You got it? No, just Nobody has taught me how to fully cut onions, so I'm just doing it how I think people do it. What's happening is, the onions are cooking. We got the tomatoes on the side, so we're about to go in. One of them is Mr. one of them is Shiro. And Shiro, you wanna put that Shiro in there. Uh, you don't need really barbari if it's mit and Shiro. Uh, but if it's any other like type of Shiro, you usually need a barbari. I'm still gonna add barbari because I like the spice to it. But Mr. you need to cook the salsa, or what I'm doing right here, with the barbari. Barbari is like a spicy Ethiopian seasoning. Add a like chili uh, powder and stuff like that. So I'm gonna add that soon. So that's what it's looking like now. Add on tomatoes. I think I was supposed to add the tomatoes after. I think I messed the whole thing up. I'm not watching your video right now on it. I'm just doing it after my memory. There's a barbary. Boom. And this is the mustard right here. And then you want to add the shiro right here. One spoon. Two spoon. And like maybe a half. Boom. And now you want to turn this down so it doesn't burn. I got this one looking really nice. I like the way it looks red. I want to add a little bit of more of this. I want it to be spicy a little bit, you know. And we have kororima. You want to add this as a seasoning, as a flavor. I'm adding to both. Boom. You're blessed. A bunch of seasonings together, just lightly add. Some in here, some in there. This one burns fast, so I'm gonna come to this one real quick. Got your boil water going right there. You gonna need that soon. One time somebody asked on Facebook, anybody knows where to get like a dishwasher? And I recommended a actual dishwasher that I saw on Opera, but they meant like an actual person. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Yeah. Like an actual dishwashing person yeah. for their restaurant. Jalapenos. This inside of it is what is really hot, so I'm gonna keep it in there. For those of you guys that can't handle spice, just take that out. All right guys, we got done with everything. Of course, uh, I had to add the water to finish it off. Put 
us pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for this food, for giving it to us. We uh, thank you for the ability to cook this good old food. Thank you for my wife. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. 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 We made this, guys. We made this. Miss mm. Shiro and a salad. I know my wife is trying the bite out of it. The first bite, of course. I should be feeding her right now, but. What's under here? Oh, would you look? What? what? Where did that come from? What the, <laughs> what the heck did that? Why is the hot Cheetos in my, in my food? Huh? Why is the hot Cheetos in my food? How the heck is a hot? Did you add that in there? Yeah, you did. A bunch of hot Cheetos are there. You gotta have to check the camera. You have to check the camera. Bomb.com. Bomb. It's not that spicy. I thought it would be more spicy. It's not that spicy. Dang it. I should have added more spice. I knew it. Bomb. Really good? Mm hmm. I like this in general. Buffy, huh? Very. How's, how's that salad tasting? Really good. Talk to me. Aggressive. Mm. Wow. For a pescatarian diet, this is fire. There's no meat on here. For even just food, this is fire. That's what I'm saying, like, like for somebody that says like I'm pescatarian or something like that, or a vegetarian, like this is a fire food. Like I would even go out of my way to eat this. You good? This with some pasta. I'm gonna try it with hot Cheetos. We're gonna grab some jura. We got some shiro. We're gonna add this to that. I'm not gonna add no tomatoes or anything like that. I'm just gonna try it with the shiro, see how it tastes. I feel like it's gonna give it more spice. It's not that bad. Like, it, it doesn't throw off anything that is going on with the shiro. What it does is it gives it a little bit of texture of the Cheetos, like a crunchiness. And it doesn't even taste like Cheetos, really. It tastes like this food got spicier with some Cheetos. So, I don't know if this is disrespectful, but if it is, come at me in the comments. You know, I got plenty of time to respond to you. Actually, I don't have time, so, you know, come at me. I don't care. That's good, though. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for sure. Wow, Bips, this is a great discovery. I've tried this before. We got done with the uh, Ethiopian food we ate. Yeah. It was so good. So good. Uh, you know what? what? But with Ethiopian food, I never feel like gross food. Like even though I eat to my maximum stuff. capacity, stuff. you know you eat some stuff and you feel gross after though? Mm -hmm. Like I don't feel gross after eating it. I still feel like I could eat more, but I'm yeah. full. You know? Like, I, I feel light. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of a healthy food to be honest with you. Um, it doesn't like, we don't feel like fat and stuff like that. The only fat that is there is like the butter, maybe. And usually people cut that out because there's fat in there. Alright, guys, we got abuela and then dabukolo, and then she's gonna try it. So I want you to open it. Okay. Right. Go ahead before it dies. And this is one of my top. It doesn't taste like how it tasted in Ethiopia. It tastes a little funny, but it'll do. Because I think it's stripped out from Ethiopia, so. Old? Uh huh. Alright. It might be a little old. Cookies. Maybe some milk. They're dark as hell. I don't remember it looking like that. They look like they're burnt. Yeah, they look like they burnt them when they toasted them. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Sandwich biscuits? That's so weird. Alright, ready? Yeah, give them a sec. They smell like um the Nilla wafers. What it tastes like? <laughs> it tastes like if an Oreo and a cupcake had a baby, oh. it would have this. Oreo and a cupcake? If an Oreo and a vanilla cupcake had a baby. 
So that's not, that's how good it is. Yeah, because it tastes like like the this is soft. It's not hard like Oreos. Like it's literally like so soft. Because normally Oreos are like. Yeah. But this one's like. Yeah. And it calls it a biscuit. It's like a cooked biscuit. Yeah, it's definitely true. Like literally, like you put in a toaster. Pretty good. Pretty good. What would you rate it? I give it a. I give it a ten. Ten. These are good cookies. Hey. And there's like vanilla wafers too. Oh, that's good. That's a good rating. That's an amazing rating. So, Diddy, you have a good upbringing snacks. That aftertaste is weird though. <laughs> She's hey. trying double colo for the first time. I tried cola before, but. I'm trying one. You gotta eat a bunch of them. There's no way you can eat one and then be like, oh, it's just good. good. Is there salt in these? No, there's sugar. Stop. Actually, it might be so. Tastes like it could be a cereal. <laughs> like put it with the milk. <laughs> yeah. You funny. It tastes like if you took um, a Hawaiian roll and you dehydrated it uh -huh. and turned it into literally, a little rock. That's literally how they make it. Yeah. That's what I was telling. It's like bread. Cause like the name is Dabo. It's bread. And then Kolo. Remember we had Kolo? Mm. The bird food is called. Uh -huh. that's, that's what it's called. Dabo. I like these. Mm, they're really good. They're really good. Huh? I think about it feels a little spicy or something like that. I think these are 10. I like these better oh, than those. Right? 9, 10. Wow. Mm, good job. I know you do it all day. I love bread. Let me get in here. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching our video. Till next time, keep We acting. are. Keep packing the first. Is that it? Till next time, we are. The Bird Family. So these are really good. I could eat these all day. Well, you're not gonna eat it all day because it's mine. Remember that next time I buy snacks. You don't buy any snacks. Uh, really because good. I eat them all. <laughs> exactly.